Welcome back to another scalping lesson, Soil here, and today I want to teach you a very easy scalping strategy that generates the most accurate trading signals ever. Just make sure you watch this video until the end so you won't miss any important point. All right, this is a one minute scalping strategy. So here we set the chart time frame on one minute. This is the price chart of euro to US dollar, but there is no limitation on this and you can use this scalping strategy on any other asset or market, whether it's forex, crypto or stocks. The only requirement in terms of the asset or market is trading volume and liquidity because this is a scalping strategy and the profit that we're going to take are small in terms of price movement so we don't want to experience any unreal price gap or large spread between bid and ask prices that can damage our trade entry stop loss and profit in this scalping strategy we use three macd's for adding them to our chart here we click on indicators and we search macd this one moving average convergence divergence we add three macd to our chart and we must change their settings for the first macd in the bottom here for the fast length we set it at 34 and for the slow length we set it at 144 and then here in the style tab we uncheck macd line and signal line because we only need the histogram for the second macd which is in the middle here for the fast length we set it at 13 and for the slow length we set it at 21 and similarly here in the style tab we uncheck macd line and signal line because we only need the histogram and for the third macd here in the top of the list for the fast length we set it at 5 and for the slow length we set it at 8 and similarly here in the style tab we uncheck macd line and signal line all right everything is already set on the chart and let's see how we trade based on this one minute scalping strategy it's very easy and you just need to be focused so please carefully listen to all the points that i'm going to explain in this video so you will be able to run this scalping strategy successfully this macd shows us longer term situation of the market this macd midterm situation of the market and this macd short term situation of the market and we're trying to discover perfect buy sell trading opportunities by the help of these macds when this macd in the bottom is green it tells us that the longer term trend of the market is up so we must look for buying opportunities when this is green we are down here and we focus on the middle macd when we have signs of momentum weakening which uh, shows itself in shorter bar with light green color then we go to this macd in the top so when we get the first shorter and light green color bar we go to this macd in the top and then we wait for the starting of red bars when we get the first red bar here again we come back to this macd and we wait for the first dark green bar which actually shows us increased momentum in the midterm view of the the market when the first dark green bar formed here we can enter a long position so we can enter a long position here as this new candle is opened the stop loss for this trade is placed below the previous swing low and the profit at risk to reward ratio of two please keep watching this video because there is another situation for long positions where we enter in the trade differently moving on the chart this macd is still green here we have a shorter bar of light green color which is actually showing us weakening momentum so we go to this macd and we wait for red bars when we get the first red bar here again we come back to this macd and we wait for increasing of momentum which shows itself in dark green bar which is actually happening here as you can see so we can enter another long position here as this new candle is opened the stop loss below the previous swing low and the profit at risk to reward ratio of two trading based on this strategy is really easy you just need to be focused so you can discover these uh, momentum changing that is happening in different MACDs again here we have signs of uh, momentum weakening which shows itself in shorter bar in light green color so we go to this MACD and wait for red bars we got the first red bar here so we come back to this macd and we wait for the first dark green bar which happened here so we can enter another long position here as this new candle is opened after this trade also if you pay attention you can see here again we got light green bar so we go to this macd and wait for appearance of red bars which happened here again we come back to this macd and wait for the appearance of the first dark green bar so we can enter another 
long position here as this new candle is opened. All right, now listen carefully because uh, we came to an important point here. This MACD is still green, so we should still keep looking for buying opportunities. Here in the middle MACD, we got light green bar, which shows weakening of momentum. So we go to this MACD and wait for the appearance of red bars. But this time, when the first red bar appeared and we came back to this MACD, we didn't get dark green bar. And instead, this time, this MACD also turned to red color, which shows a greater pullback that is happening in the market. When this happens, we come to this MACD in the bottom and we wait for the appearance of first dark green bar, which happened here, as you can see. So we can enter a long position here as this new candle is opened. We have another similar situation here. While this MACD is green, we got light green bar here in the middle MACD, which shows weakening of momentum. We go to this MACD and wait for appearance of red bars, which happened here. We come back to this MACD and wait for the appearance of first dark green color bar. But this MACD also turns to red color, as you can see. So we go to this MACD in the bottom and wait for the appearance of first dark green bar. So we can enter another long position here as this new candle is opened. On the other hand, when this MACD is red, it shows us that the overall trend is down and we must look for short position opportunities. When in the middle MACD we have signs of decreased momentum, which shows itself in shorter bar in light red color, then we go to this MACD and wait for green bars. When we get the first green bar here, we come back to this MACD again and we wait for increasing in momentum, which shows itself in larger bar in dark red color, which happened here as you can see. So we can can enter a short position here as this new candle is opened here. The stop loss for this trade is placed above the previous swing high and the profit at risk to reward ratio of 2. After this uh, successful trade, while this MACD is red, here again we got light red bar which shows weakening of momentum. So we go to this MACD and we wait for appearance of green bars. When we get the first green bar, again we come back to this MACD and we wait for the first dark red bar but here we got also a green bar so similar to what i have explained for long position signals we go to this macd and we wait for the appearance of first dark red bar which happened here so we can enter another short position here as this new candle is opened after this trade we got another similar situation here where we got light red bar here in the middle macd so we go to this macd and wait for appearance of green bar which happened here and again we we come back here and wait for appearance of dark red bar but here also we got green bars which this situation shows us that a deep pullback is happening in the market so we go to this macd and we wait for appearance of dark red bar which happened here as you can see so we can enter another short position here after this candle is closed at the beginning price of this candle after this trade also we got another similar situation you can see that both of these has turned to green color so we we uh, come to this MACD for the appearance of first dark red bar which happened here so another short position can be entered here at this point at the beginning of this candle please pay attention that in times that the market is flat like this part of the chart as you can see we don't have stable histogram in this MACD and uh, we can see that it changes color continuously which uh, actually shows a non-trending market although this strategy performs very well in this situation and most of of the time doesn't generate any false signals but still it's prone to produce false signals because this is a trend following strategy you must understand that like any other trading strategies this strategy doesn't generate 100 percent guaranteed signals and losing trades are part of the game whether the market is trending or not trending so you need to manage your risk properly there is a risk management strategy that is called one percent rule and it's a perfect choice for scalping trading strategies i have a complete guide on this the link is also placed in the description of this video and I highly recommend you to watch it because without a proper risk management strategy you cannot successfully and profitably run the scalping strategy that I explained in this video. Not only for this strategy but for any other trading strategies that you want to use you need to manage your risk properly. Alright that's it thank you for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to ask and leave a comment for me I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the the notifications of my new video. See you guys in next video and good luck with your trading.